Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday and we're having a bit of a later start. I mean, we were up at a decent time, but we just started talking with uh, Greg and Linda and now it's about 2.30 or is it 1.30? Whatever time it is with daylight savings, I think it's 1.30. So we are uh, headed to another restaurant I haven't been to. That's the perk of having people over is that you get to go to new places. So we're going to this place called Wolfgang's which is apparently really good for breakfast and lunch. So brunchish kind of thing. Very, very excited about it. So uh, another food vlog for you. What can you do? So I have the hardest time deciding between pancakes, french toast, or waffles. All very similar, but also all very different. I have no idea. So the food came really fast. We got french toast, I got some eggs, we got these like scrambly things. Omelette and look at the carnage. I didn't do that well. So now we're walking through East Grand Rapids. It was super rainy yesterday, so we're taking a stroll today. It's cute. That Starbucks is adorable. We are in clothing stores that are like 150 more dollars than I would spend on anything. They're like a higher, more utility boost, I think. Yeah. So we just got into this little shop called Pink Lemonade. Pretty sure someone in our neighborhood owns this, but it is basically us if we were to ever open a shop. I, I want this so bad. It's so, so cute. Hey guys, and happy Monday. So we have a combined vlog because I kind of just forgot about it yesterday. Alex's parents hung out with us for a little bit longer and then they took off and I just, I got distracted. So we have a combined vlog, the first one in a long time, but I hope you guys don't mind a little here and there with the videos. They're not daily vlogs, they're just semi-daily vlogs, but today we are trying our best to get back to work since we did take three days off, which is a lot for us. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, get like new releases cut, start working on more orders, that sort of thing. So. It's kind of just a worky sort of day. I took some blog photos this morning. I posted a blog post about how to figure out what you want to do with your life. So if you are at this place where you finished everything that you plan to do, like basically once I got out of college, I kind of was like, what now? You get a job, you get a house, and I'm not ready to have kids, so what what do I do? So the post is kind of about how to like figure out what you want from your life once you're main like plans and roadmap is done so if you want to check that out i will leave that linked below but now i uh I'm gonna try and go downstairs and get to cutting and getting to do orders. So I'm having a muffin before I film the new releases video. I haven't filmed one in a couple weeks, so I just added in some of the past new releases as well. Then I have the nesting dolls kits down here somewhere as well as January colors. Yeah, so this is the nesting doll. So if you wanna check that out, that video should be live, so I will link that as well. But this is my setup that I've been doing lately, just on my desk with a white sheet of paper and then my two lights, just to brighten up the place. Here we have Master Chef Kayla. Oh, hi. She is uh, preparing, we're gonna make gnocchi by hand. We'll see. <laughs> we're gonna try, otherwise it's pizza night. And uh, we are going to put it inside this to soften the potatoes and then we'll make the, the gnocchi. Faster. And then uh, I'm thinking we'll use this uh, Alfredo, this creamy Alfredo sauce, and use chicken and just make a chicken and creamy Alfredo gnocchi. Gnocchi, gnocchi, gnocchi. Those are animals. She's using her bare hands. Ah! Those were wedding gifts. Ooh. In only eight minutes. Plus heat up time. So in only 12 minutes, mashed potato quality potatoes. Now, we're gonna throw some chicken and make some shredded chicken in about 12 minutes. Someone ate too much. Ate something that looks really unappealing but tasted pretty good. And now. So my neighbor, her, so shame on me. Um, but my neighbors wanna go play basketball and they're like, hey Benda. Why don't you come play? And I'm like, yeah, man. And then he spent the last 10 minutes on WikiHow because he doesn't know how to play I basketball. I tried out for basketball my seventh grade year and did it. I was tall, 
I could have stood there, but they had tall people, and I could not shoot the hoop. Play basketball. So now um, he's going to shoot the hoop. So yeah, that's my that's my thing. Is like, how hard is it? How hard can basketball be? It is literally bounce the ball, shoot the hoop, make the basket, See, win the game. Four things. I feel like bounce the ball. I feel like it. Shoot the it hoop. It would be easy. Make the basket. Like that all sounds fine and good. Win the game sounds all fine and good. But then there's other people trying to stop you from doing those things. No, no, no. You're, no that's, that's where people go wrong. They get too complicated. It's bounce the ball, shoot, shoot the, the hoop, hoop make, make the, the basket, basket win, win the, game. the game. That's it. That's all you need to know. That's all you need basketball to know. Basketball. What was funny is I with asked. With Benda. Basketball. I asked you what With like, Benda. Hey, Google. Look at these 90s skills. Basketball. <laughs> with Benda. Whoa, whoa. So I'm freezing. So I'm wearing one of Alex's like really big sweaters. But that's gonna be it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.